little sugar boogers, and welcome back to the channel for yet another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Right now we have Luca working on his homework. I was playing my, uh, my current household and I was really getting into taking advantage of, um, you know, fulfilling, filling the Sims wishes and whims and using the perk points to my advantage. Since if you guys didn't watch my current household, you may not understand this. Um, but my current household is with Genesis and I think her last name is, I totally forgot, but basically she's homeless right now and living out of a hotel and, uh, her bill came in and with all the upgrades and all the renovations that she was doing to her house they totaled in about seven thousand dollars so finally after a week or so Genesis has been able to move back into her house and she is doing a few things to keep it that way and let me just tell you guys really fast how much of a help it was using the the perk points to be able to uh, build build skills really early in the morning and being able to have my sim um you know have a specific mood before going to work so i definitely want to take more advantage of that um in the future so uh in the previous episode we did have a very confusing situation we had found out that amy is actually pregnant and it was quite a surprise to everybody in the household and in the family when they found it out since there was no real discussion or anything about Amy having children or about Isabella and Amy having kids. So um, Isabella didn't tell Rossi or anybody. It was just kind of a surprise. And and as you can imagine, people are kind of confused because usually when you're trying for a baby, there's some sort of like, you know, chatter about it or discussion and there just really wasn't. So Isabella wants to invite Rossi out a little bit later for maybe a coffee or just something extremely, extremely low key um, to discuss, you know, basically, you know, how Amy is pregnant and the whole nine. I'm actually trying to adjust my mic right now because it's being really stupid. <laughs> it's like bouncing all over the place and I have cat hair in my eye. It's just, it's a hot mess. But uh, right now what I'm trying to focus on is getting the boys to go ahead and do their homework. I'm actually going to go ahead and age up Romeo, um, I think in this part, because I just, I feel like it. I feel like today is the day that we need to, we need to go ahead and age him up. But I just got a, a, um, oh, whoopsie. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just got a got an email. I'll have to answer that here in a minute. But uh what was I saying? I totally forgot. I don't know. Um, it's just been a really long time that Romeo's been a kid and I feel like he should age up and, and Luca won't age until a while, but you know, I just figured we need to move on crouton and I think that it's a it's a good time. So uh, later on we will definitely throw a little bit of a fiesta. I was trying to have um I was trying to have Romeo do his homework before he, he goes to school. He's a C student and honestly he probably could get a B. Um, before he heads into high school. So maybe we'll have him just work a little extra harder today and uh, make that happen if we can. I don't know what Luca's grade is, um, but we'll also have him just study a little bit harder. He's been getting haunted and taunted by these stupid freaking monsters all night long. We need to get the, I think it's the Koopa, the Koopa something. I forgot, the Koopa bear, whatever it is, the Kuka bear. What's Kuka? Kuka is something dirty, isn't it? Yeah, Kuka? I, I, I don't know why that, I thought this horse was on fire. <laughs> um, yeah, Kuka's, I don't, you, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just stop. Stop, Jed. Sometimes, you know, I got to calm myself down. Rossi is so freaking tired and I have no idea why. Is she okay now? Oh, she's good, girl. Um, she's feeling really happy, but she's combating a cold. So I'm not exactly sure why she's feeling better. Maybe we should buy her a little bit of, um, and we should buy her some medication. So we definitely need to pay the bills. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is kind of an issue. I want to go ahead and find some delicious fruits that we could go ahead and harvest so we can plant these in our backyard. One of the things I also really wanted to do, um, and I never thought Rossi would ever have any sort of interest whatsoever in, um, in doing any sort of like harvesting or farming but ever since she moved out to this house in a in um Windenburg she's just been really feeling at peace with the land and she definitely can tell that her her grandmother would be so excited for her to like get into the get in it getting into the gardening and the farming I guess so um she's kind of gosh Isabella is like keeps texting her and, and I'm really nervous that 
I don't know what it, I mean, I know what it is. I know what it is, but I'm really nervous how you guys are going to feel about it. So, um, we'll have to, we'll just have to see until a little bit later. Isabella, I think she works. When does she work until, um, she works until 1 a.m. until at 4. So I think maybe in about 30 minutes or so, we should go ahead and meet up with her. I was actually assuming she was, um, working a little bit earlier than she got off at a normal, a normal time, but, um, she hasn't been able to, so, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just change her up a little bit, her, um, her outfit, I don't know why, but I'm not really liking this outfit that she's wearing, I get, I get sick of it really, like, quickly, like, her different types of outfits, I've been noticing that lately, like, there was once upon a time in the good old Sims 3, um, that I would literally have some wearing the exact same outfit for, like, 20 bots, but for some reason, I really enjoy changing up the look, um, but with her, there's not that much to change it up to, because she kind of has a very plain day style whereas back in the day she used to really you know get down with the big boys so um if you guys are wondering when the plastics are gonna have their little outing or their um or her bachelorette party it's going to be tomorrow so uh we'll do it in the next part for sure we'll have a little shindig but for this one we're dealing with a couple things uh romeo's birthday figuring out what's going on with isabella that kind of stuff, you know? Um, I'm really, 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 really nervous. Um, I don't know why, but, like, I guess, have you ever had anybody, like, try to tell you bad news or good news or just news in general? Or, okay, bad news, I'm going to be honest. But, um, and they've, it, you've just got this feeling before they've even said anything that it's going to be bad. And I just, I don't know. I think that's what, I think that's what Rossi's feeling right now. I'm just kind of trying to see what kind of outfits I want to put her in. She's having so many problems. None of her old clothes fit her the way that they used to. And she's trying to go to the gym. She's trying to work it out, but she's just honestly not feeling very good about herself lately. It's kind of um, a shame because she isn't <laughs> out of shape or anything. She looks beautiful, but Rossi is having an insecure moment. She really is. And I think a lot of of us can can uh, understand and vouch for that because just any of the outfits that she tries to put on she doesn't feel like they look good on her um the things that she could typically get away with or the outfits that she's she is tripping because she's beautiful but oh whatever you cannot tell somebody how to feel I think you know they've got to they got to feel it in themselves so whatever she's feeling we just have to we have to accept it right so I'm going to put her in the, this little outfit here. I don't like it either, so don't worry if you don't like it. You and I are in the same boat, uh, but uh, not much we can do about that, you know? So, all right, let's get her a different little hairstyle because she's been kind of wearing... Uh-oh, what? Um, hello? <gasps> are you freaking kidding me? Oh, my God, I cannot edit. Oh, wait. Seriously? Oh, my God. That was really weird. Okay, so it was a problem. I've been having so many glitches with my game lately. It's kind of been annoying. Um, and I was, like, trying to think, it, am I able to, like, actually change the clothes? Ooh, I like this hair on her. I mean, I know somebody's not going to, but I actually kind of like it. It has, like, a little braid in the back. It's different. She's growing up, sons. She's growing up, <laughs> okay? Like, seriously, she's a big girl now. She got girl, big girl panties on. She good. She's good. But, uh, God, it's so weird. It's so weird. But I love it. That's what I love about me having LPs that go on forever. You have to really see how the Sims grow up and change and, and how everything. Oh, God, honey. I know. She's, look at her. Look at her life. Like, this is, <laughs> this is literally what it's resulted to, you guys. I was in the bathroom staring at the wall thinking of how did this all fall. Oh, my God, girl. Just dying. Dying. Are you going to headbang that thing? I got to, I got to seriously take a picture of this because, like, look, this is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life because you can really feel it. I joke about it all the time about how Rossi's life has changed and how I'm sure she's struggling with everything. Um... You know, but I really, I really do actually genuinely feel like this is a legitimate situation. Like, I really feel like she's actually struggling with being being an adult sometimes. But uh, I want to go ahead and put in my Tonio's taco truck because um, I, I want to be who wouldn't. And yeah, let's go do it. Um, ew, what the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Ew! Uh, ew, God. Ew, it's like a freaking fly or something smashed on my chin. Freaking name, I have to cut that out. I'm like swearing over here like a freaking sailor. Oh, damn. Oh my god, that was so gross. Okay, anyways, I don't know what was going on, but I think I had like a, it was like a black thing and it was sticky and it had wings on. And it was like stuck to my chin. And all right, Jen, stop you complaining. But yeah, <laughs> hello. Are we still here? Okay, let's just, I don't know where to put this thing. Uh, I'm going to put it in the Regal Golden Cinema because, I mean, why not? I don't know where else I could put it. 
Um, you cannot live here. You gotta uh, shut up. Um, all right, let me go put it in the re the golden regal. I don't, I don't like it there. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a whiny little biatch, but you know, like, hey, <gasps> the name's Jed. What is zoo boo boo? I need to find a place that I can put this damn taco truck. Like, seriously, I don't know where I want it because I want it to like fit in. Um, transcends bar and grill. I do like the twin oracles. Um, look out to the beach byway, like, hey, a taco truck just kicking it in the middle. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put this right here. We're gonna check it out, see if it looks good, and we'll leave it, and then we'll move and go about our business. That was so funny. Like, I freak out about little things like that. Like, oh my god, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> what did I do? I don't like it. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It's fine. It's a taco truck. You know, they're mobile, right? Sure. All right, it actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look bad here. It's just that thing that's behind it that looks weird. But whatever, I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm just going to have her, um, we'll have her go. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, we'll have her go over here. And um, I'm going to try to see if I can also select Isabella too. I don't know if it'll, no. Okay, so I'll just have her go by herself. And um, she'll meet at the, oh, she'll meet Isabel at the Tanya's Choco Truck. Hopefully she'll be able to go. I mean, this isn't like the best place to be talking about things like that. But like I said, Isabella is not somebody who really wants to drag on problems. Like she just wants to, oh God. Oh, yoey. Okay. Well, hello there. You're pregnant and you brought your family. Okay. Um, well, I thought maybe we could maybe go sit over here or something. I mean, I don't really know what to say, but I'm going to go over there and not be awkward because I'm being so awkward right now. And I'm going to go ahead and give her a hug. I was under the impression, please don't throw up your freaking your fish tacos. That is so gross. Uh, that we were going to have like a low-key casual conversation. And um, Isabella is like, hey, I'm so happy you can make it. I just wanted to bring bring along Amy and uh, Melanie for, for, moral, for moral support. I hope you can understand. This is a huge topic for me. Uh, so maybe if we could form some sort of group or something so that we're all together, um, that would be really, really cool. Uh, so then we're not like so, you know, like, would it be like disassociated with each other? I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I haven't actually tried this before. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add, add her to group. And then I'm going to add... Melanie to the group so maybe we can go ahead and uh, request a table I'm actually gonna see if we can go ahead and request this table I don't know if it'll be that we're all gonna eat together I think that it is yeah it looks like that it will be okay perfect awesome hopefully we got the table in time you guys yay oh perfect I love sitting next to a truck's exhaust if you guys didn't know I did create Tonio's taco truck um, you guys can download it from the gallery. Uh, you just got to make sure CC is checked. I don't know exactly why <laughs> it says I have CC when I indeed do not. But um, just make sure you have it checked so you don't have any problems when it comes to um, when it comes to downloading it. So I really do like it. I guess it's a really fun little place for like days like this when it's beautiful. And it actually kind of fits quite nice down in Newcrest because you have all of these like buildings and the cityscape kind of just it really does work. I feel like um, even though it's meant to be for an oasis springs location i absolutely love isabella's look like right now do you see the way she's looking at melanie like no honey you're not gonna get yourself some fish fingers like you need to eat something actually healthy and i think i think isabella is a vegetarian um or she's vegan i can't remember so i'm gonna make sure i don't order her anything with meat in it because i <laughs> you know how notorious i am for that crap okay i always mess it up all right so let's go ahead and order for the table um, you know, you're probably like wondering why don't we go to Rosa's house or Rosa's restaurant, but sometimes we like to try other things. I'm actually going to get Melanie a little glass of orange juice. Uh, Amy just wants water. Ugh, indigestion is just a hot mess right now. Um, I'm going to get a, I think, I think Isabella wants to turn up a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. And this is going to be one of those days. So I think I'll snag one of those as well. Hot and smoky. Uh, we could probably just get some appetizers for the table if we really wanted to, if we think we're going to be here too, uh, for a long time. I know Melanie would really like, um, some chips and salsa. Um, that might be a little bit too spicy for Amy. So I won't get her any of those. Okay. What does not have? Okay, we'll just pretend this is like vegan chili because I don't know if any of this other stuff has meat in it. Um, I know cheese is a dairy product, but again, we'll just pretend that it's not. So 
Okay. Um, I'm going to actually have, ooh, what do I want? Um, uh, pan fried tilapia. I actually hate fish. We'll just, ugh, and they're fish tacos too. Uh, taco casserole. Okay, I'll grab, I'll grab the chef special. And for Amy, she can't have fish because of mercury. Oh, Lord. All right, I guess she's getting a bowl of chili as well. No, that's indigestion in the, in the coolie for you. Like, literally, she'll be, she'll be blowing it up, <laughs> blowing up the toilet. All right, so actually, uh, I'll get the, I'll get the, oh, yeah, I'll get the taco casserole. Perfect. Okay, so, wow, 90, $93. And I am starting to feel extremely freaking sick right now. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to um, ask about her day. I know it's really hard for her to talk in front of Melanie, but she really did want um, all of us to be here together. And uh, it's a really, it's a really scary, a scary situation that she, she has to tell us. Um, so, all right. Well, I mean, all right. I'm okay. I'm kind of sad to tell you guys this, but, uh, Isabella has found out that she has cervical cancer and she cannot actually, um, she can't conceive and we're like being happy and we're smiling right now because, you know, we're trying not to make, you know, Melanie have a full understanding. We're talking you to know, very in code because of, because of her being there and stuff like that. And of course, the first thing that Rossi does is she's texting her mom, letting her mom know. And Isabella doesn't want anybody to know. Isabella doesn't want people to feel bad for her. But so she, yeah, she has cervical cancer. She's going to be starting chemotherapy. Um, that's perhaps why she's turned to the vegan lifestyles because it's a healthier, it's a healthier choice for her. Um, it's going to, you know, help, I guess, um, just have her feeling healthier and all that kind of stuff and just a whole bunch of other things I'm not going to medically get into. Um, and she is scared, uh, but one of her biggest dreams was to have a baby. I have a baby. Um, naturally, and when Amy and her were talking about it, they had gone in for several, 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 um, how do you say, like, um, uh, she was going to get, um, a sperm donor, and, um, they were going to have Isabella originally be the one that was going to be pregnant, um, but it didn't work out that way, and, uh, Amy, oh, lovely, oh, my God, Gonzalo Coles, can you please get it together while having a serious moment here, and you making a freaking pregnant woman wait any longer than she has to? <laughs> freaking A, of course they would drop our food, but this is perfect, because this just gives us an extra time to talk about it, and of course, or maybe she didn't text her mom, maybe she te texted Rosa instead, oh, my God, okay, so... Yeah, you're probably like, oh, okay, so freaking awkward. Like, you're going to a taco truck to talk about how, you know, I Isabella here has freaking cervical cancer. And I know it's just, like, the most weirdest thing in the entire world, but this is how the family does things. They don't want to, like, they don't want to draw it out. They don't want to, um, how do you say, like, make a big deal about it because, you know, it's a very serious situation. You know, Amy or Isabella is on, I think, stage three. Um, of cervical cancer, cancer, which is pretty far, far along, to be honest. And there is a very real possibility something could actually end up happening to her. But it was her dream to have a baby. And Amy saw how badly she wanted to be able to carry on her legacy, so to speak. So um, Amy actually ended up being able to get one of Isabella's eggs. And with the gen genetic transfusion, they were able to actually combine their DNA to create a baby. So um, right now, you know, Isabella is going through this treatment and she has a really, really really great prognosis but of course in the end of everything there is still that you know small percent chance that things could end very very badly for her so as much as that breaks <laughs> breaks Rossi's heart and she realized there's a possibility she could be losing her sister you know Isabella has requested to keep it on the down low to not tell anybody about it and um you know just keep living life as normal as as possible and um that's about it. So they're going to enjoy their meal, their dinner. Um, I know that Isabella actually needs to go to work a little bit later on, and Amy is due any day now, which is really exciting. I want you guys to let me know how you feel in the comments down below. I mean, I had an idea, honestly, that it would maybe have been something like that, but I had no freaking idea that, you know, we were dealing with something, an illness, so to speak, so bad. And I actually think this drives Rossi even harder to become successful in the doctor career, to maybe even find a cure for her sister. I think that that is something very, very possible. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen, but I'm also scared at the exact same time because obviously the very last thing I want to do is um, have to potentially 
I don't even want to think about it, okay? Like, I just I just don't. So we're going to use the restroom really quick. I think I'm pretty much done with eating. We do need to go home. I'm not feeling well. Um, I'm not feeling well because of what's going on. I'm not feeling well because of anything. I do think Rosa and uh, Dennis probably do know. Um, but maybe, you know, I, I really, I can't. Well, how do you get freaking flirty on the toilet? Did the freaking toilet paper tickle your bum bum the wrong way or something? I mean, seriously, girlfriend, get it together. Like, how do you get flirty? She has, like, the dizzies on the toilet. Like, this chick is tripping. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have her go ahead and quickly finish up what she needs to do here. So that's we can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go. But, of course, I want to go and give um, I want to give her a little bit of a, of a hug. I know this guy sucks. This seriously, Tonya's taco truck is getting two stars. That's it. <laughs> but um, we're just letting her know that we're there for her and anything that she ever needs. Like, you know, we will be there till the end of time. And if Amy needs us to babysit Melanie... Um, when the baby comes, we would be glad to do that. Anything and everything that we could possibly need to do, we would be more than welcome to do. And oh my God, all my headlights are on the ground. Oh, that's because you I might need a view. Okay. Where are the headlights on these? Like, seriously, girl, you dropped your headlights. <laughs> oh my God, whatever. Um, but yeah, so anything that she needs will be there. And of course, uh, we want to cloud gaze with, with Rosa, but we're going to go over here and really quick and say hi, obviously, because we haven't seen her in a long time, but we needed to get back home stat so we can go ahead and have this party for Romeo. Of course, you know, everybody is invited. So if they want to come um, a little bit later, they totally can. I guess I'm not hugging her because she's eating, but that's fine. Hello. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to end the meal. Um, and I'm going to pay for everything. And um, we're going to go ahead and leave. So I'm just going to really quickly disband the group. Uh, I probably could have had everybody uh, come, you know, but like I said, I kind of want to set it up and I also need to see what Caleb's schedule is, but that is some damn serious news. You guys like I'm actually really, 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 really terrified. Um, about the whole thing and freaking hey dude Rossi is so sick you guys like can you die from an illness because right now she's like dazed and confused um, but we need to also focus on some of the things that we need to do for the jobs because like I said we really do need to finish the renovations of our house our house is disgusting I hate it <laughs> like tell me how you really feel Jen no I freaking hate it like it's so ugly right now um but we'll hopefully fix that up a little bit later on and, and of course Romeo comes out to say hi okay so what's going on dazed from illness I thought we were doing okay oh my god baby don't tease me like that I come home and y'all and you spankaroos like this is how babies are made son babies um <clears throat> anyways <laughs> I need to order some damn medicine where do I get this I need a computer right do I have a computer do I have a computer I don't think I have a computer oh I do I do I do I do I do Ooh. <laughs> If you don't know who that is, you too young for me, boo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Order. Where is that? Purchase medicine. A large dose of cinnamon. Or where was that? Wait. A large spoon of sugar makes the medicine go down. Medicine go down. Medicine go down. Well, yeah, hey, we need to have a birthday party, girl. There ain't no sleep in here. <laughs> Better down that ish like you did. Oh, wait. Well, hold on. Okay. Like, seriously, just take it like it's a shot of vodka. Get up, Rossi. Seriously, she's like, I don't want to get up. Romeo was unsuccessful and is, are you freaking kidding me? Romeo is like trying to talk to the monsters underneath the bed. <laughs> what is it? Oh my God, Rosa's in her, uh, in her gardening outfit right now. All right, so maybe we shouldn't have a big party. I mean, this is a huge deal. This is a freaking, um, this is a huge party. This is like a sweet 16. So yeah, we're going to have it and it's going to happen. We only have $400 and we have to pay the bills. So let's do it before the electricity gets cut off. Okay, guys? Like, <laughs> I am such a mess. All right. So let me do a little social event and uh, plan this really quick. And I love how Caleb just walks around in his underwear with his little knickers and hair showing like he just don't care. Like he just, he, there's not a single F to be given with this man. And that's why I think I like him so much. Like, this is why he's meant to be. All right, so Romeo is going to be a Z birthday boy. Uh, we're going to have um, Dorothy Kemp. Is she like my friend now? Tucker needs to come. They haven't been hanging out. That's so annoying. Uh, we'll, <laughs> um, we're not going to invite him. Uh, who's, the, who's this little lady? Oh, my God. I think we lost communications with her. Um, all right, it's our kid's birthday, so it's more of a family event. I won't invite her, but um, we're going to have Amy Radcliffe come. We're going to have Isabella. 
And why do I feel like I'm missing somebody? Oh, my mom. That's right. <laughs> Nobody cares about you. Like, seriously, I don't think I don't think Rossi and her mom are ever going to be um, having, you know, like a good relationship or anything. I just don't think it's ever going to happen. It's definitely not in the cards for us. All right. So I'm going to see if I can have um, Rossi go ahead over here really fast. And uh, we're going to have her cook a cake or bake a cake. Actually, I don't know why it says cook, but I want to see if there's anything cute I could actually make for him. He would really like a zombie cake. For some reason, he seems pretty interested in like the supernatural and like the monsters underneath his bed. She's feeling really energized. So like, let's go ahead and just kind of live off of that for a minute because... Um, I mean, you know, because <laughs> once that goes away, like the positive moodlets, it is honestly going to, it's going to, it's going to go down. So let's have his little party. Oh, look at Isabella. She's so pretty. And the birthday boy. Why doesn't he seem so, can you move? Yeah, 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 is over here shuffling. Where did she go? Did she like teleport upstairs? She kind of did, didn't she? Oh, and look at Melanie. Oh, I love her. You haven't met her before. You need to go do a friendly introduction with her stat. And she's like in her little her little princess outfit. Oh my god, we seriously need to get those Caleb, the guests are here. You need to get into your actual freaking clothing, dude. <laughs> I love it. That was the ugliest laugh. That was my real laugh too. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was that was like when Jen laughs at like that, that means something's really, really tickled her. Tickled the throat there. That was freaking hilarious. Why are you thinking of fires? God, you're so damn dark, dude. She's like thinking of fuego. I don't want. I don't want to talk about that. The zombie cake is ready. All right, so let's just do this quick before everybody just leaves. Um, I need to put this somewhere where we can actually blow this damn thing out. All right, so here we go. We have it right there, and let's add some. Wait, make sure I get the right kid. <laughs> let's go add some birthday candles. I can't even believe that he is going to be a teenager. <gasps> Make a wish, boo boo. Okay, I wish that. What do you wish, honey? I don't know. What do you guys think his birthday wish will be in the comments down below? Let me know. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I love him. I do. I love these boys with all of my heart. You guys have no idea how much I love these little boys. Like, seriously, Luca, maybe a little bit more than Romeo, but I definitely love them both. And I know what you guys are thinking about the whole Luca you know, possibly identifying with the other sex, but that takes time. That is not something he is going to realize at the ripe age of seven. Like he's just, he's just not, you know? All right. So let's go ahead and pick aspiration. I honestly think that for me personally, Romeo just has a really good heart. Um, so I could actually see him being like the friend, a friend of a world. Um, and, you know, he is very, he's Gregoria, so he builds uh, some some relationships faster. And honestly, I think if anything, he, 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 he does. He has a really just pure heart, and I love that about him. Um, I think, I think Rossi did pretty damn good with these boys. So let me go see. Ooh, la la. Damn. Pixelated goodness. <laughs> when you make a good baby you know it's crazy girl you know it's crazy all right so rossi went ahead and gone to sleep and it is time to wrap up this part right here um but uh what the hell is this what the hell is this rosa oh <laughs> family just gets oh my honey where are your clothes <laughs> all right guys seriously what the fudge oh my god i can't deal is it really that funny jen honey i don't know but dennis De i can't where are your clothes Ro like and she's wearing these three okay stop pause she is wearing these freaking thigh highs with these freaking purple shoes and no clothes. What the hey? Like, I think Rasa just, Rasa went off her, ro uh, Rasa, Rasa, Rosa went off her rocker. Like, I'm actually kind of scared that uh, she heading for the damn old folk home or something. But anyway, oh my God, I'm making jokes, but that might be the sign of something, you guys. Seriously, she's showing up to the party hella late and with no clothes on. And I was making fun of Caleb. Hmm, maybe he's on to something. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.